What's up everybody? My name is Garrett and welcome to The Cage. Today we're starting up a new series and this is Watch Dogs. This was made by Ubisoft a little over two years ago. It was originally supposed to be a launch title for the PS4 but got some delays and mixed reviews when it did finally release. Personally, I love this game. I had a really great time playing it and with Watch Dogs 2 coming up here, I wanted to bring it to you guys as well. Now as my other walkthroughs go, I won't be talking during dialogue the best I can, and we'll be focusing on making sure we get the full experience. So I'm starting a brand new game. It's been a few a few months, almost probably a year and a half since I've played this. So work with me through this, and let's jump on in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Siphon the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's scanning the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Help me. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnecting. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Got a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Who gave the order? I told you. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. What do you think, Maurice? Did you see? 
<laughs> it was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, and I'll tell you a name. No. Lena. Lena Pierce. <laughs> I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys. I heard stories, man, they're like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk please, away from. Please! That's probably the wrong answer to give this guy. Who gave the order? I spoke to him on the phone and they told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. <laughs> Give me a name. I don't know. Oh, here we go. A name. Kill me, man. Just fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah. How's your memory now? <sighs> Boom. won't talk to me, but I bet he talked to you. All right. I can't keep running. I can't do it. The fucking Aiden Pierce. I killed his niece. He won't stop chasing me. Who is this guy? What am I gonna do? He keeps coming. I need to keep moving. All right, let's leave the locker room here. Yo, Maurice! Yo, it's shaking, motherfucker. Shit! Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. <laughs> I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill him otherwise. I told you to hold on to them. I love Jordy. He's my favorite character in this whole thing. <laughs> Where you been, anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We... Are out of time. Huh. Nice shot. <laughs> huh. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. <laughs> you did? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy. Tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. They'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. So as you see here, we are playing as Aiden Pierce, and at the beginning, looks like we were doing a hacking job. Got a body here. And Definitely obviously that went bad because Here's we hacked the, the wrong people. So they sent somebody after us. I got another corpse. Another viceroy. <laughs> Victimless crime then. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season to pull this shit? What the hell? So you see there, we created a distraction by... All these are little things we can hack and interact with to cause distractions. That might take me a minute, because I don't quite remember all the controls. I remember some things. 
survivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base steals on this team with 27 steals this series, but Sonova's watching them like a hawk. Looks like it unlocks from the other that's side. That's a pitch and a hit, and it looks like... So, yeah, so as this game goes, we have to jump from camera to camera that we hack. We actually hack that one to, to hack this one to get this one. Get that one. And boom. Now we unlock the door. And also, the, basically the way this is all possible is through what they call the CTOS. is a central wide operating system. He's not moving unless I give him a reason. And basically, the whole city is controlled through this OS. I'm gonna make a little distraction toy here. Since we have no bullets, we gotta do what we gotta do. Quick, because he'll return to his post if we're not too slow here. Ta -da! Hey, you, sir. This is yeah, you, bullshit, come here. man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're just talking. Hey, man, look, I got my tickets right nope. here. No, yeah. keep your hands where I can hey, see them. Hey, this is bullshit. Jay didn't do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're viceroys, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet she makes more than you do. I keep going here. Yeah. Here we go. Bad boy. The police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought he wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. All these cops are scum. Alright, so basically we have to bounce around here to find a cop that has security access. Security access. But you got an isolated incident in the basement. We can close the basement. Okay. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's going to cause a panic. We need to shut the game down and get people out of here safely. All right. Shut it down, eh? I can't make that call. Well, then call somebody who can make that and call. And back please. here. Okay, hang on. So hop downstairs in the server room. To hack that. And this is probably one of the coolest abilities in this whole game, is to create a whole city-wide blackout. Basically, it's like almost like an EMP goes off here for a certain amount of time. Transformers blow the whole nine yards. Destroyed a couple arc lights we may have injured. We've got people filing onto the field. Also, our profiling um, that we can do through our phone here is actually kind of cool because it allows us to kind of interact with people. It gives us their name, their age, their occupation, how much money they make. And certain people we can actually hack and steal money from them too. Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone. I'm allergic to cops. So is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it, I don't care. I just saw a bunch of Gotta cops go. fly by out there. So Jordy is our cleaner, basically. Somebody that we hire to kind of do our dirty work for us, in a sense. Oh, so he's coming back on. And, and for this time, I mean, this game got some criticism because it didn't live up to all the expectations and hype that they made for it. Personally, I still think it's a pretty good-looking city. Just overall, it's very smooth-looking, and everything kind of just flows. 
So Jordy left us a car. And we're gonna get cider. Tells us how to drive. And we need to basically get away from the cops. Now obviously at first sight you're thinking this is a very uh, Grand Theft Auto game. And, and there's some very close similarities to that so you wouldn't be incorrect. Uh, the downside is it's not Grand Theft Auto. There's cops there. As you see on our map there, we had a roadblock, so I'm going to take this back alley. One thing you'll learn is, uh, as you're driving and playing this game, if you run over people, you, you hurt civilians, you'll end up causing a bad image for yourself, and people will react differently to you, depending on what how you handle the situations. I need this bad. Finally got the goddamn trigger man. Just need to break through. How? Push Maury's hard. Torture's not gonna work on this guy, so I need to get inside his head. The guilt is eating him up. I'll give him a couple of days. I bet I'll start reaching out. One other thing you'll notice is like when we go through stoplights, security gates, things like that, we can hack those like you see there, the traffic lights. Cool thing is that creates a diversion, so if we're being chased by cops, we can pull that, boom, it's probably gonna wreck the cops. Uh, but back on the image that we make for ourselves, either people will react scared of us, or in a sense they'll try to, you know, support us. Which is cool either way, I think that's a nice, nice little touch. But the city itself feels very alive, it looks very alive. And it reacts to us, and I, I like that concept. And that's why I'm really excited for Watch Dogs 2 to come out. Uh, this one here is taken in Chicago. And the next one's going to be, I think it was, um, out in California, if I remember right. I hope I'm, hope I'm called that right. <laughs> so let's go to our little hideout that we have. Oh! Oopsie! <gasps> One other cool thing is we can actually hide in our car. So you can basically just park somewhere, hide out, and hopefully they don't, cops don't che check that car kind of thing. Alright, let's head on upstairs and we'll call it an episode. our string map on who's connected to who. It all goes back to a question mark. Bad Boy 17 is somebody that we're working with, and we'll learn more about that here in a little bit. Uh, but I hope you guys stick with this. If you're interested and didn't ever got a chance to play this, this is a great way you guys can catch up on the whole story. 
So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. Helps out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel. We got tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys stay frosty.